Hi everyone. This is Fawaz. Welcome to SharePoint World. Today I am going to show you how to implement a for each loop in Copilot Studio. Currently Copilot Studio doesn't have a built-in option for this. So we will explore how we can achieve it. For today's requirement I have a table that contains some names. For example John, Jacob. Now I want to post these names as message specifically i need three message to be posted one for each name so let us see how we can implement a for each loop now i am creating a new topic and naming it get employee name i'll just add here get employee name So I just saved the topic. Next, I am adding a variable to store the employee names. This variable will hold the table. So let me create that. So I will name it as employee table. So I need some names here. So I already have some names. So let me copy this one. So you here you can see we have three different names. So now we had the names as well. So now here you can see we do not have any option to for each. So nothing is there. So let us see how we can implement. So to do this, click on the three dots more. Here we can open the code editor. So just click on open code editor. So now here you can paste the action or the kind for for each. So now to achieve the for each, we have to add the kind and you can give any ID. So after for each, you can give it some random numbers. So I'm just saving this one. This is fine actually, the topic error that we can fix in the Copilot Studio. So now you can see we got the for each here. So let me try to add the employee here. I'm just selecting that employee table. So now we can just set a variable. So we can set value something. Employee item. So now our requirement is we need to show this multiple messages. So let me add message. Send a message. So here we can add the name. Then we can fetch the item from the for each loop. So here if you check topic dot employee item dot name. So the name is in the name field, right? So we have to take that. So now I'm just inserting. So just saving this one. So let us try this. So let me call this topic. So here we can see we got the messages in separate. 